This is going to be a demonstration of how you can build a HTML5 web application on Sassfire using open source tooling, specifically uh, React. And to make this just five minutes, we've basically got a, an app which is pre-built. We just need to plug in the services. So the app is going to look like this with two pages and it's going to have a drop down with a list of areas and you choose an area and it gives you a list of springs from that area. The CDAP also has uh, features such as a uh, history of requests showing you the log, uh, the source code and even the generated source code uh, that SAS generates. And so to get started, we're going to clone the repo and use the git clone command to download it locally. We're going to change into that directory and run an npm install and an npm build and that will download all of the third-party libraries and then build the app. So whilst it's building I'm going to head into the source folder in the context directory and update this setting here. So this is the app location and this is where the app will live inside the Sassfire folder tree. So we'll call it app42. Also in this file is the call to the app init. So this is one of the two services we'll build. And uh, every app should have an initialization service for populating things like drop downs, etc. And the data, the list of areas that comes back from that is going to be used in the data page component. Uh, so here it is, here's where it grabs the area. And also in this component is the call to the second service, which we'll call get data. And that will send the selected area in a table called areas. And uh, with the result, we'll populate the table, which is defined here. And just to prove that we're going to make a change to that table, I'm going to set the style on the header row. Um, and we'll give it a background color of light green. Okay. So I've made a change to that. Um, once this finishes installing, that will get built. And uh, whilst that happens, let's head over to the GitHub repo again to look at building the, the backend services. So in the macro call library, which is a library of SAS macros, there's a macro called create web service. And this will let us create a web service on fire using SAS Studio. So I'm going to paste that in and left align it and run the first part. This will download the macros and create a URL. Uh, so you need to be an administrator to run this part uh, because it queries the console token. So then I authenticate, get my authorization code and paste that into the second macro, which will give me a refresh token. And then I'm ready to start building my services. So I'll just get rid of this first part and uh, write my SAS code. So proc SQL create table areas as select distinct area from SAS help dot springs. And then we're going to send back a table called areas and we called it app, we put it in the app 42 directory uh, and the service is called app, app init. So that will give us the first service and then we, now we can build the second. So this one is going to be called springs and we'll select star from sashelp.springs where area in select area from work.areas. So this work table is actually created in the pre-code generated by this macro. Um, and so, so yeah, it will already be available as sent by JavaScript. So we're going to send back a table called springs and the service will be called get data. Okay, now I can submit that to, which will call the APIs and create the two backend SAS services. So let's head back to the app. Um, it's just finishing the build. So the build takes the, the TypeScript files and, and compresses them to minified versions of JavaScript and CSS, which are faster to load and, and will render on different browsers such as IE. So that's now built. We need to get the files on to the via web server from my local machine. So this is an rsync command, which uh, simply loads them to the var www folder on the via server. So that's now done. If I head back to the app 
and refresh. This now will download the, the new version of the app. And then if I select uh, an area, we should get a table back with a green color. So there you go, building a web application on fire in five minutes. And uh, yeah, so for, for more information, you can head to the, the GitHub, the uh, URL is here, github.com slash macro people. So any questions, do let me know. My name's Alan Bow. Have a great day.